What's going on, YouTube? It's Blood, Sweat, and Gears 87. I'm down here about to check some traps again. I'm running another trap line, trying to see if we can't catch some raccoons. Um, I actually set up seven traps yesterday, and now I'm out here. I'm about to go check some of them, see what's going on. I actually put three traps at this location. This is a uh, the pond over here where I do some of those duck hunting videos we have about I guess it's about 14 acres out here and I have three traps down here right now and then I have three more traps in uh, the cow pasture where I do some of my deer hunting videos we're gonna we're gonna go check those traps after we check these ones but um out here I put three of the dog proof coon traps that's the main thing I'm trying to trap right now so I'm trying to help out these turkeys that's down here. And I know the raccoons usually hurt the uh, turkey population a little bit when they uh, take all the eggs out in the nest. But anyway, I'm gonna go back here, check these three traps. Then we'll go over to the pasture, check the three out there. And then I'll go to the last spot. I have one cage trap at the last spot. But let's go see what's going on out here. Oh, here's the first trap. It looks like all of the marshmallows that I had on the trail are gone. So it looks like a coon came here. I guess he knew better than to stick his hand in here. Maybe he learned from the other ones. So I caught a, I caught, wait, I caught one here last week. But um, it's kind of surprising. I thought I was going to have one right here. But let's keep going. See if we have any down here or not. If we don't have any, then I'll just leave the traps out here and come back and check them tomorrow. Well, here's trap number two. And the marshmallows are still there. Nothing in trap number two. That's crazy. Maybe they learned from last week. And trap number three is empty. All the marshmallows are still here in this one. Well, no luck here so far. So I just, I'll leave these three traps out and uh, come back and check them tomorrow. Well, let's head to the pasture. See if there's anything out there. All right, down here at the pasture. First trap, empty. The marshmallow is still out here. So let's keep it moving. Two more traps out here. And then I have a live cage trap at the uh, last location. But uh, let's go check the last two. All right, this one is empty as well. So I'm gonna uh, check the last one out here. Let's see what's going on. And I actually, there's a trail right here. I don't know if you can really see it as well as I can see it in person. But there's a trail that leads to this water hole straight from the woods over here. So I just decided this would be a good spot to place these traps, but nothing is at this one. So we're gonna follow this trail and oh, there we go. We got one. So what have I checked so far? Six traps, six traps and one coon so far. So I actually have a total of seven traps out today. Um, six of them are the coon proof, I mean the uh, dog proof coon traps. 
And so far we only got one out of those six dog proof traps. But I do have one cage trap we're gonna go check and uh, we'll see what happened. I'm about to go ahead and get this guy ready and then go check the last oh. trap. All right, so I'm at the spot with the last trap, which is also empty, but I see coon tracks going this way that I don't recall seeing yesterday. So I'm pretty sure a coon at least came down this way at some point, maybe last night. But um, I caught two out here last week. I had a dog-proof coon trap and this live trap right here. And I had two down here. So, who knows? Maybe that raccoon saw one of the other two and he knew to stay away from the trap. At least that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if that's what happened or not. But, we had uh, seven traps up. And we only caught one today. Um, I'm going to leave the traps uh, open. The ones that didn't have anything in them. And we'll come back and check them in the morning and uh i'm just doing this on the weekend so if nothing's in the traps tomorrow then i will bring them all back home with me and maybe we'll try again next week but we got we got one so far i'll show you guys what he looks like when i get uh back to the house i'll take him out show him to you and decide what we're going to do with him i might try to clean them up i've never ate raccoons but uh some of the ones i caught last week i gave to a guy and he's actually going to cook them up so once he gets them all prepared and cooks them i'm going to try a little bit of uh the raccoon i guess but since i only got one today uh i'm trying to debate what i'm going to do either i'm going to just let the taxidermist get them so he can uh give me the pelt back or either i'll go ahead and try to clean them myself and see if i can't save the hide I've never done that before, but I might just watch a couple videos on YouTube and see if I can't figure it out. Anyway, let me show you guys what he looks like. All right, you guys, here is the coon that we caught today. This is a nice size male. He's got a pretty nice pelt on him. Um, like I say, I ran seven traps yesterday, but we only caught one coon today. Which one is better than zero? But I just wanted to show you guys this one so you guys can see what he was looking like. But um, I guess I'm about to go ahead and see what we're gonna do with him. I've never cleaned one myself, never cleaned and uh, skinned one myself, but I'm contemplating trying that. If not, I'm gonna call the guy that I know and uh, he cooks them pretty frequently, so. If I can't figure it out, then I'll call him, let him uh, clean them up, and we may try cooking them and see how it turns out. But um, I guess next week I'll try this again, see if I can catch some more. And the, the other six traps that were empty, I left them out there. So we'll check them in the morning and see what happens. But uh, till next time, it's Bush Wedding Gears 87, signing out. All right, we back out here, but we had that one catch yesterday and we got one today. So I had uh, seven traps running. Got one yesterday and one today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him ready, take him on to the crib. But this weekend I ran seven traps and uh, again, I had one catch yesterday and one catch today but they both were with the dog proof traps and they both were in this cow pasture out here with this old abandoned cow pasture that's another good size one anyway splits when it gets 87 holla y'all a little later